Yesterday at like 2 a.m. We went to bed at like 4 and we woke up at 11. We're having a pretty late start to the day But it's fine because we really needed to sleep in because the jet lag is kind of catching on to us If you haven't seen the videos before we've already been to Seoul and Shanghai So definitely make sure to watch those as well I already planned the whole itinerary before we came here But because we're having a little late day it will probably change here and there However, if you are interested in the whole itinerary, it will be linked in the bio So definitely make sure to check it out and yeah without further ado Let's explore Tokyo! Our first stop of the day was Sushira, which is a must-go restaurant if you're in Japan. They have restaurants located all over the country and it's basically a sushi fast food. It's definitely not the best sushi we ate, but you can get two salmon pieces for less than a dollar. We really wanted to go into the Imperial Gardens, but they are closed for some reason. Like there's one gate, then the second one, and then the last one is right there. So I'm giving them tips that like if you want to come here, you gotta make sure that it's open and that you know where the entrance is. I'm also sweating my butt off. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you just find out? Probably everything is closed today. Learn from our mistakes and prepare for Tokyo, because we didn't. <laughs> is just unbelievable. Hey! We came back to the hotel because we got a little bit tired and we are ordering Uber Eats. But yeah, we're going to eat and then we're going to go back to Shinjuku because I think it will just look so much better in the nighttime. So we're gonna chill, we're gonna eat, and then we'll go back. This view just keeps getting better with every minute. Wow. Yes! Finally! We got a bowl filled with just tuna and salmon and then just some nigiri <gasps> bit hungover but it's day two so Shibuya <laughs> Thank you. 
But for today, I have booked Shibuya Sky, which is like the viewpoint for Tokyo. It's been all over TikTok. You've definitely seen it somewhere. A big tip, you definitely have to book this in advance. I would suggest like a month before. I did it like two weeks before we came and already the best like sunset hours were gone. So we are going at 7 p.m., which I think still will be really good because I think it will be the best during the nighttime anyway. So I'm very excited. I think then we will just walk through Shibuya. That's it. I'm gonna check out that after <laughs> What a morning. <laughs> it's Voita's birthday today. But yeah, this was definitely not what we had in plan for today's morning. But we woke up to a huge alarm going on. But like not inside the hotel, but outside. So we were like looking outside the window. And then like 12 ginormous fireman truck arrived right in front of our hotel. So we decided to run out of the hotel just to check in case it was us and it was it was our hotel but nobody nobody let us know it was just like a mistake i guess and everything was fine so they let us be but yeah today is our last full day in tokyo and we decided to go to the tsukiji market this is the disaster prevention center we would like to inform our guests that the fire that occurred on the 18th floor has been extinguished please remain calm <laughs> It's been extinguished, so it has been on fire then. Well, we're healthy, we're safe, that's what matters. As I was saying, today we're going to the Tsukiji market and we're just gonna eat our asses off. It's gonna be so good, I cannot wait. Anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. Uh, let's enjoy the day. <laughs> I feel kind of stupid for saying this again, but after the Tsukiji market, we went to the hotel to have a little rest because once again, the weather was just so hot. And after the quick break, we decided to go to a fishing restaurant. You probably already saw this somewhere on the internet. In Tokyo, there is plenty of these restaurants where you can fish the fish you eat. This one was directly based at our hotel, so it was very convenient for us. And yeah, Voita got his own birthday dinner, which was so fun. And it was just a really lovely dinner idea but yeah after that we went back to the city back to shinjuku and we decided to go to omaere yokoho which was just the most beautiful street and i'm gonna let you enjoy this in silence everybody it is our last day in tokyo we're more like a last hour we are leaving today to go to kyoto we are taking the shinkansen train and that will be also the next video that will come up so stay tuned but yeah i'm gonna do a second video all about japan and all about the things that you need to know before you come here i don't know when that's gonna come out but i'm gonna link it in the bio but yeah i hope you liked the video if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video Bye! 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 Bye!